What's up guys, Harvey here from the Red Insight YouTube channel. It, it finished today, Watford nil, Crystal Palace nil. Um, now, if you did, weren't looking at my Twitter, then you wouldn't know that I am out here at London, Victoria, actually. Um, London, Victoria, I'm actually on a Christmas do for the company I work for. So I wasn't able to watch the game, unfortunately, but I still thought I'd put a reaction video anyway, just giving you my initial thoughts on the game. Um, you can obviously, I'm gonna put it out there right now. I didn't watch the game at all. I was following it up on Sky Sports, like the the, um, the text, um, and got my got my general general gist of what was going on through that um, Sky Sports app. But I didn't watch any of the game, so I just want you to obviously realise that in my in my reaction to the game. So don't take my word for anything. But in general, hey! <laughs> in general, um, I thought that Martin, by the sounds of things, Martin Atkinson had a dodgy game. I thought that we, there was one particular incident where I did see the highlight. Wilf got absolutely taken out by Kapue, or I can't remember if it was Kapue, but taken out, and it was very, very harshly ruled against him by Martin Atkinson. In general, though, at the end of the day, nil-nil, is that a bad result in your opinion? In my mind, I think some people will be unhappy with that, but in my opinion, honestly, I think that nil-nil isn't the worst result in the world. Um, Still unbeaten, obviously another clean sheet. That's uh, a, a, a three in a row now. The clean in terms of clean sheets, which is very big. Um, and we've also got uh, Brian coming up. The big game coming up next week. So getting a point now, keeping that momentum going, just keep the points ticking over it is important. And I thought because Nigel Pearson had just come into the t uh, as as what the manager. I know he wasn't in the dugout today, but coming into the team yesterday, uh, I thought that would have given them a bit of a boost. So to, to come away in a away game with a, a, a draw. No, no goals conceded either. Not the end of the world. I know they're bottom of the league, and I know that a lot of people will be like, they're bot what for the bottom of the table. We should be coming away with points there. I do get what you mean. I do get what you mean. It is disappointing in that sense that we couldn't get a goal and we couldn't get some revenge from last season. You know, obviously losing in the FA Cup quarter final and of course away in the league. But in the bigger picture, in my opinion, getting a draw is um, a decent result, not the best result, of, of, obviously, and uh, not the best performance either. It sounds like a very scrappy game. Obviously, people who were there at the game, please comment your thoughts down below and tell me how you thought the game went in general. I'd love to know. Um, but in general, it sounded like it was a very, very scrappy game and that it was uh, a game that you'd expect from a team that are bottom of the table trying to fight for their lives, you know? And, and we've been there before as Palace fans. We know how it feels to be there at the bottom of the table and fighting for your lives. So, um, I can understand why Watford were like that and it wasn't a very entertaining game by the sounds of things. But obviously, comment your thoughts down below. This is just a complete reaction to the to, to the game, not a review at all. Um, but in my initial thoughts, a draw is a point in the right direction. Stay positive about it. Brighton is the big one. If we if we got a draw today and won against Brighton, I think every single Palace fan in the world would take that result. So. Let me know your thoughts down below. Comment your thoughts down below. Obviously, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I promise you against Brighton, I will have a, a more in-depth preview. Live stream preview is my aim. I'm going to be live streaming the preview to that game and obviously a proper review to the game. I'm, prob I'm not, I'm unfortunately, not going to be there because of work. Um, and like today as well, I, I, I'm at a Christmas do, so I wasn't able to go to the Watford game. But I will be doing a more in-depth preview and review of the Brighton game. So obviously, stay tuned to the channel for that. Um, but... Let me know your thoughts down below. People who are at the game, I'd love to know your in-depth thoughts on how the game went for you, anything you were concerned or really happy about. In general, a nil-nil result, in my opinion, right now, just after the game's finished, not the end of the world. We take a point, we move on. It's not a defeat, and it gives us momentum going into the bigger game against Brighton. So let me know your thoughts down below. Like, and share, subscribe. Thank you so much, and I apologise again for not having a proper in-depth. For those people watching abroad, I really, really appreciate your support. And this old channel is obviously all for you guys that are watching abroad and not able to go to games. Um, so I apologise for not having an in-depth review for you guys. But uh, I will have, you know, have a proper, you know, I'll have a proper preview and review of the Brighton game coming up and onwards. It's just because it's Christmas and I'm at a Christmas event for the people I work with at the moment. So that's the only reason why, um, the only reason why I haven't been able to watch the game today. So I apologise to you people watching abroad. Like, share, subscribe. I will be doing a more in-depth preview and review for the Brighton game. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Fingers crossed we can get the result against Brighton. We're still in a very good spot in the league. All positive. Merry Christmas. Up the palace.